Greetings, Dr. Joseph Martin, Global Chaos and Personal Emotional Fortitude. Now here in the early 21st century, we're feeling in ourselves and in our communities and in the world as we witness with the daily news reports and just what we know about what's going on in the world, that in this time at the end of an era, where there's spiritual emptiness and moral morass and social chaos and a sense of greater psychological psychoses that we're witnessing in the killings that happen all over America and, of course, in different cultures of the world and the sense of uh, collective anxiety, personal and collective depression, perhaps even more oppression by those who are forcing their wills and dominating others uh, on the, the rest of the world and the people. All this is going on, and it is as it needs to be and should be as we go into a civilizational decline in yet another historical epoch. It's all part of the joy and the fun of being human on Earth over time and in space. We can expect this. We know that this is to happen. But here, here's the crux. Here's the rub. What are you going to do about it? Now, there's many options that you can do. Now, remind yourselves that there's also a possibility of increasing consciousness of individuals joining together in groups as we collectively and individually decide to do something positive and substantial and absolutely authentic and pragmatic and practical about moving forward and getting into the next cycle of co-creating with the divinity within and without a whole new civilization based on completely different values. And that would be the sense of equality, justice for all, humanity for all, and resources for all, and a great livelihood for all, and a certain kind of a friendship for all of us here as sisters and brothers in this great one world, one species of humanity, one family. Well, now, what are the choices you have? And the question is, what are you going to do about it? Well, you could keep your head in the sand like an ostrich and do nothing about it until it all falls apart, and then you'll be caught uh, and unawares and really totally moving into fear and terror. That's one possibility, and there may be some that choose that possibility, no judgment on that. And another possibility that you could choose is simply to um, stay apathetic and, um, and just kind of stay in that little kind of life story that's been created for you by society and this kind of dream illusion of, you know, the white picket fence and the 2.4 kids and the, the toys and, you know, all these kinds of things until it all falls apart and it's gone and then you'll sort of wonder what the next story could be. Or you could also choose another uh, story that, you know, there's too much fear and anxiety within you, you don't know how to handle it, and as many of my friends have done, and I'm saying this in a very sincere way because there's no judgment about it, they just decide to take an easy road out and get some kind of illness or accident and decide that uh, they can't handle it or don't want to handle it, at least this time around. And they just exit the physical body and they go into the astral fourth dimensional spirit realm and uh, we'll have to come back another time after maybe this is all over and we're into the next phase of the new civilization. But remember this, just as when you go to sleep and then you wake up the next morning as the same person, it's exactly the same that happens when you choose to die or when you do die and leave the physical overcoat. Who you were when you died and passed into spirit will be exactly the same person who is reborn in the next incarnation with the same mindset, the same consciousness or lack of consciousness, the same feelings and fears that you left with, you're just going to deal and have to deal with them all over again. That's simply a spiritual cosmological law or truth. So the, the perhaps the most productive, creative, uh, profound way is to do some inner psychological spiritual work. 
And we here know that there's many spiritual truths and paths, and of course they're all great and useful to a large degree or another. And uh, myself, having done all my spiritual and psychological inner work, and of course have to keep track of my shadow, my ego, every day it's just an onward humbling path because we all have our faults and we're imperfectly trying to be the perfect souls that we were created to be. And that's a great journey and you just take yourself as you can and take yourself in hand and do something positive with your life. So we have created, co-created here, the I Am Yoga and I Am Self-Worth program. It's an online self-help, self-coaching, self-responsible, uh, self-training program that where you can engage the step-by-step -step process that we have outlined over 45 years worth of training and experience, research, clinical work, psychological, anthropological, historical, spiritual work to uh, give this to you as a path, uh, a doorway uh, for your development and your absolute kind of step-by-step -step process to, to become and remember to become the great love and light and leader and visionary that you can be in the world. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, when global chaos happens, who are you going to call? Well, you can only call on yourself. That's the only one you can rely on. Part of the interesting thing is you're going to have to learn to the process of dealing with all the emotions of like anger and rage, sadness, guilt, loneliness, depression, and fear and terror and dread and so on and the anxieties that are free floating that are not attached to those feelings in order to be able to like, grab them, access them, transmute, transform them into something more positive, more constructive, but certainly more grounding and more giving you a more of a security and an inner strength as inside, so outside. So you do have that sense of love and courage and strength and and constancy and groundedness and empowerment and flow of that ongoing awareness that you can do this. You can tell yourself, I can do this. I can handle this. I can transmute all these feelings. I can make a difference in my own life. I can use every day and night to better myself and to learn these new skill sets. These are just skill sets you can learn. The basic uh, advanced psychological spiritual techniques and you can learn them, and you can transform your entire life and existence into one that's just so joyful, uh, encouraging for yourself and others, and really responsible, re self-reliant, and uh, forward-moving. So this is how to deal with the global chaos around you. You can take yourself in hand, you can learn these new skills, you can learn to unite with your divine source of all that is inside your heart, through the I Am Yoga process and all the other good things you're doing, and to learn to develop self-confidence and self-worth. There's another video you can watch on self-worth in order to come to that place of indomitable, truthful, inner self-love, where you will always find yourself unconsciously competent to be positively proactive in every circumstance, no matter what happens, when the lights go out, the computer goes off, when there's other great things going on in the world that are causing you know, the final collapse or the final chaos, uh, you know who you are, you know how to be, you know how to respond to yourself, to bring forth that courage, to bring forth that ruthless fearlessness on behalf of the tenderness of the love uh, to care for yourself, your family, and your neighbors and friends, and to co-create something in a joyful, positive way with all that we have the opportunity to make something brand new here. How exciting is this? How often does this happen? Seize the moment. Carpe diem. Enjoy the day. And make something positive of your life. So when you're looking back at the end of your life, you'll say, wow, I did this, and I made the right positive honest, humble, hopeful choices. Hope above all, and you know, part of it does mean you do need to, when you know the knowledge and you know the pathway and the steps that you need to take, 
You just need to take action and take that one next step. Wherever you are, whatever it is that you're feeling and thinking, just do it. And therein lies the path to self-responsibility, glory, freedom, and your spiritual Olympics, psychological Olympics, where you turn yourself into a being of great gold. That's our talk for today. Uh, good luck and have fun with it. Stay tuned to other programs and other videos. Dr. Joseph Morton, Martin and all love to you. Take good care of yourself. All love and blessings. And as you can see, I'm still imperfectly perfect. And I just love to uh, share all this with you. God bless.